Good morning, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment. It's Friday. That's always a good sign for those of us who, of course, look forward to a weekend. Which brings me to the topic I want to discuss in today's moment. We are all at a point where we are reevaluating our lives. What's a priority? What's important? What we're going to do for work? How we're going to define our lives? What our legacy might be? the relationships we have and how we value them. All of these things are coming to a head right now because after all we've been through and lived with, it's hard to imagine going back to the way things used to be, despite people individually seeming to clamor for normalcy. There never really has been normalcy because everyone's experience is individualized and what we think is normal is never applicable to anyone else. So as we've been doing all of this, we've been trying a lot of things and many times it may get us to a point where we're looking at what we've attempted and all we see is a path of failure. After we go through it, we look at it and we think, man, that was a waste of my time. But I don't want you to believe in that. I want you to understand that there really is no failure unless you choose to make it so. That's right. You are the one who is in charge of whether or not anything you attempt is a failure all based on what? How you think about it. So when you're going through it, when you are trying to make it manifest and you get to that point where you think you've given it your all and you are ready to give up, don't ever give up. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the circumstance is. I don't care if it's physical, emotional, spiritual. Don't you give up. Instead, I want to encourage you on this day, on this Friday, leading into a weekend where hopefully you may do some soul searching, which will help you get to the point where you need to be. I want you to remember that the only failure is giving up. That's the only true failure. But instead of thinking about the things you're trying to achieve, the goals that you have, the aspirations that you imagine, the dreams that you've dreamed up, I want you to do something going forward, beginning this day, that will help you redefine the way you look at anything that you go through and any result that you get. Instead of looking at it as a failure, look at it as an opportunity. And instead of looking at a way to change your goal, change your plan. That's right. Whatever it is, try again a different way, a different method, a different number of people that you're going to be speaking with, a different idea of what it is that you really want. Whatever the plan was, course correct. Change it and try again. And in each instance, learn from it until you succeed on your terms. Because ultimately, it isn't the world that determines your success. It isn't circumstances that determines your success. It's you. And once you know that you've gotten where you want to be, once you know you've achieved what you wanted to achieve, once you know that you have put in the work and achieved the outcome, well, it's all worth it. So remember, there is no failure. There's opportunity. And when you think that you have failed, buckle up, try again, and keep going at it until you find the way to achieve whatever it is that you have in mind. You can do it. I'm here to tell you that. And that is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment for today. Find my podcast on many, many podcast platforms. The basic ones are Amazon, Audible, Anchor, Google, Apple. You name it, it's out there. Listen, hopefully learn something, and share and subscribe if you have the time. You can also find my book, I Am My Own Cause, The Third Act, Surviving and Thriving, which pretty much tells how life was for me at the time of its publication, the last uh, 10 years of my life in the series that I put together. And there is a lot to learn in there about coming through the storm, overcoming the circumstances, about what a real faith journey is about, and believing and understanding that all the things that happen in your life are not coincidental. They are preparation for what comes next in your life. And if you can believe and hold on to that concept, you can get through it. And once you get through it, you can get to it. And that means your dreams, your hopes, 
your aspirations, whatever they may be. Listen, everybody, have a fantastic weekend. Do something fun. Do something meditative. Do something that brings you joy. That sure is heck what I've got planned. Have a great weekend.